welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leuven. I filmed two videos yesterday and both of them don't have audio so I have to re-film this video. The other video I don't know if I can save it so that video might be a lost cause but it's fine because we can at least re-film this journal flip through. So I actually finished this journal a while ago, but oh my god, it's snowing outside. Okay, I need to focus. So I actually finished this journal a while ago, but but I thought I had filmed the flip through for it and already posted it, but turns out I, I was thinking of a different flip through, so I still haven't done this journal flip through. And this is like my favorite journal. So this journal, I think it's from Michael's. That's I think what I figured out it says stay curious on it and there's a cat so I'm using this headband from the Dollar Tree as a journal band and it has pearls which I think adds a really fun touch it's kind of all like a pink theme so I kept it kind of monochrome so here is the front of the journal I love the cover it's not fully covered with stickers because there actually is a design on the cover of this journal I have these all things Leanne stickers. This sticker, well these two stickers are from Etsy shops. This one I thought it was perfect just because of like the times we're in and it's like a good way to like kind of mark where this was in history I guess. I don't know it's kind of a cool way to mark the times by using stickers. This sticker is just very fitting for what's going on right now and what was going on during this journal. Then this sticker is from Ella Hosp on Etsy. I found her on TikTok and I'm in love with this sticker. So when you open up this journal the first inside page I added this Ruth Bader Ginsburg sticker. Originally I was going to put it on the journal cover after this because that's when I was thinking I'd be journaling around the time of the election but unfortunately Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away before the election and so I dedicated this journal to her. I had a little extra sticker paper and I used that to write it on. Then here is like the inside pages. This is volume five of my journals. I really like what I did with this page. I just love the stationery I used. And this, I think you can create these on pick.me, something like that, where it's just an animated version of yourself and they have different styles you can use to create this little character. So I started this journal on September 20th, 2020, and I ended on November 7th, 2020. This is just a random page, and then we go into the first day of journaling. I thought about like launching these stickers, so these are some potential stickers. I never end up doing that. Sunday, I used a lot of these die cuts. Monday, Here's just like a little coloring sheet. I've talked about this before, but I'll update my journals of where I am, like with TikTok and YouTube, because it's just really interesting to look back on. Tuesday, I had some tea. Wednesday, I really like how this is monochrome. I let my friend design <laughs> these two pages. I just let her do whatever she wanted. This dog is so cute. Then this was stuff from like school that day, then planning and thinking about the weekend. Here, these are all um, dum dum wrappers, some doodles, and then we have these leaves pressed, but apparently you're supposed to let them dry out first, so these might mold. I don't see any mold currently, but someone commented that, so <laughs> that's not good. So maybe you don't do that, but I used some packaging tape over it. Um, just like I used packaging tape to like protect the stickers on the cover. So that was Saturday. Um, had some more tea. Some fun packaging things. Receipts and stuff. Another subscriber check-in. Wait, no, that's TikTok. TikTok, 700 followers, super cool. Here's a quote page. Fall fashion. It's really fun to just collage and stuff. Some pictures just to throw in some old pictures. Yeah, these are just random pictures that I wanted to include in my journal, so I just put them all in on one spread. Some doodles. Lots of doodles in this journal. Yeah, I glued those together. 
Tuesday I used some watercolor for a background and I used like these die cuts as well and stickers. The reason why I really love this journal is because I had a lot of fun with the backgrounds and the decoration and stuff. Um, like I made this little picture spread of that day I got donuts and I made this watercolor background for the first presidential debate along with adding some die cuts and then the water damaged the paper behind so I just ended up making it into something. I talked about coffee, the current coffee drinks I was liking at the time. I really love these spreads. They're two different picture spreads. One when I got boba and then two when I was studying at a coffee shop. These pages are really fun to look at just because they're visually appealing and you can see the pictures. Okay, I have to cover this side of the page because it's too personal, but I used some craft paper as the background. It's lined and it just really, it just switches up what you're writing on in your journal and it's a lot of fun. Full moon, I quite like this little doodle of the moon. I don't know, it's super simple to do. I just added layers of colors. Thursday, I like how like collage -y this one is very fall too. October. I love this little opening page for October and I need to do it again. But these pictures of these women are just from some kind of ad that came in the mail, I think. And then this is a paper gang monthly spread. And I love how it turned out. These are also super collagey, lots of papers and stuff. And I used a white gel pen on th this fun paper. I wrote down a dream, just some receipts and stuff, and that's just kind of how I documented that day, is using like receipts throughout the day. So that's a cool way to do a spread, is just maybe receipts that you collected throughout the day or little tidbits of your day um, instead of writing. Here, an order came in from All Things Lian. I guess I got two orders, I think that's for my Etsy shop receipts and stuff. I used just typical lined paper to glue in for the backgrounds of these pages. Saturday, Sunday. It's funny because last time I filmed, my camera died at the exact same time. We're on to Sunday. I used some extra sticker paper I had from making my Etsy stickers to like make the sun and the title. For this page over here, I just took a black marker and then I went over it in a white gel pen. I love how it stands out. This I just wanted to like journal and I like all the decorations with it and stuff. And this is actually one of my stickers. Here is another quote page. Here is like the excess after you finish a sticker sheet. This is actually my own sticker sheet. I never put them up for sale, but they were like little star stickers that I made. I saw Gabriella here on YouTube doing that, and so that's why I did it. And then I swatched some scotch tape washi set. Then I swatched this scotch washi set. Tuesday, got Noodles & Co. Wednesday, I played around with some watercolors. Here, I dyed my hair. I feel like I never really finished this spread. I just put pictures in. Very Halloween. This spread is kind of a mess. Here are more of like the extras, excess of the stickers. I guess I never like put these anywhere. So these are kind of just loose in here. But this is a very happy spread. Again, playing with watercolor. I played a lot with watercolor and different paper backgrounds in this journal. And I think that's why I like it so much. Saturday, like I love how I did this like paper background. This paper is from Muji. It is the the lined craft paper that I showed earlier. And I just painted this border and cut out the shape. And then I just glued it in and used it as something to write on. And these stickers, these stickers are from Five Below. They're really cute. Same with these, here's the Five Below haul. So as you can see, I had just gotten them. This is that same craft paper, but here I painted like cloud shapes and then just wrote around that. I got this French press. It's a fun way to make coffee. These stickers I made myself. I never actually put them on my Etsy or anything. I just used them myself. October 11th, so it's a Sunday. 1,000, we hit 1,000 followers on TikTok. Here are some photos that I got from my grandma because we went over there for my birthday. And then here is the birthday card from her, well, from both my grandparents. And I decorated it with like some of the things I got. 
Here I left a little note to myself. Um, I'm actually not really sure what's in here. But yeah, I think I just wrote like a little... I think I wrote something that I want to keep more private. But I like how this spread under here turned out with the colors and the stickers. Just a little Monday. Tuesday, this spread is super colorful. Again, with that watercolor. I got some things from Etsy and the packaging was super cute so I included them all in here. I turned 17, very exciting. This is my official birthday spread. Love like the stickers and stuff. I went to Paper Source on my birthday and did some stationery shopping. Here are some pictures from my birthday. Some painting in the background, more painting backgrounds, and I really like these spreads, more of those picture spreads. These are just so much fun to look back on. Friday. All these spreads in this journal were so much more put together than my current spreads. Really wish my spreads looked like this now because I really do love this journal. Here, a little flip out, so much fun. I used just some kind of paper background. Glued those pages together. Some doodles, Sunday, more of that paper background. Lots of different papers in this journal. Like, as you can see, paint. I used a lot of watercolor pictures and different decorative papers in this. These two things I both feature in my journal kits on my Etsy. I just cut out like this little coffee memo note. I like cut out the border. And here I just use, I glued this into right on uh, about my day. Same with this. This is also in my journal kits. And I think writing on these things just like spices it up and switches up how your journal looks rather than just like always having that paper that lined paper background or whatever your journal looks like here was the second presidential debate i love when i like write something big of what's going on that day so then it's easier to look back through the days so when i see this i can instantly go back to when that was and what was going on on that page here i didn't write anything over this i just loved it how it was and i love like making a shape and writing inside of it just like, like I've said, it's just really fun and switches up what you're doing. Saturday and Sunday, I love the look of the dark paper. I watercolored this and so that was um, difficult. I like added some purple and black so it wasn't too ashy. So um, yeah, there is some purple mixed into this if you're trying to recreate that kind of background. And I added some star stickers and stuff and I love the look of the white gel pen. I had some tea. This is some kind of letter thing. So this is to my least favorite person, which honestly, I don't even know who that is. But it's from this journal thing that I have from Five Below. Here is what it looks like. This is from Five Below. And it's a journal, but I used it to just like rip out the pages and use those as like little journal prompts or journal spreads because they look really cool. Here I got an order from Yay It's Vicka. Their shop is so cool. It's so cute. I love it. Here are some receipts. I love the look of the like collaged receipts. This page is too personal, so I'll just cover it up. But I finally got the Crayola Super Tips and I swatched all of them on this page. Possible presentation ideas because I was doing that slideshow presentation night with my friends. I just wanted to journal. I used some watercolor and kind of just painted what I was feeling, you know. 510 subscribers, you know how I love tracking the progress. I love like the colors. I love how this, this like watercolor turned out wednesday um here i was not in the mood to like fully write out my day but one thing i like to think about is that writing something is better than nothing so even if you just write one sentence it's better than leaving it blank because you still get some insight into what that day was like without having to fully write down what happened in all the little details so um how i left it it's it's so much better than nothing here planning out the week thursday like same thing here writing just this little bit is so much better than if i just left it blank and i think about that all the time when i'm journaling this is just something that i got from school same with the wrappers friday this was the day before halloween and we got to wear costumes at school another thing that they pass out at school pictures from halloween at school then it was actual halloween i just wanted to use my halloween stationery this spread is a mess halloween and then what i did my presentation on i like kind of talked about it for um what i presented to my friends and then i just happened to have the perfect stickers for this presentation 
We did a ghost photo shoot, but I never actually put in the pictures, so I really need to go back and do that sometime. But then we went to I went to the aquarium with my brother and my dad, and I put the pictures in here. Here is an Etsy order. Go check out Jack and Beck. They're on TikTok as well. Then we got a pen pal letter, or just a letter. Election day. Ooh, very nerve-wracking. Rock the Bob is a thing we do at my school. Um, here is pictures from that. I like how I did the title, and I like how it was similar to the ghost photo shoot one. Another day. Seats. I think it's really cool, especially right now, to include clippings from newspapers because it documents the times that we're living in and will be really interesting to look back later in life. Some random pages. Very exciting. Joe Biden won the election. And... Yes, that is the end of this journal. This journal is complete. This is my fifth journal. Hopefully you enjoy this flip through. Go check out my Etsy, my TikTok, and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. On my Etsy, we have journal kits and we have new stickers. I'm really excited about my new stickers and I can't wait to use them on my next journal because I'm so in love with them. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.